guys. Um, here we go again. Um, I'm out in the wilderness. Um, it, this seems to be like a, a reoccurring theme. Um, I get out here and it's cold again. Oh, I'm bundled up. I'm nice. Could have been, could, could have had some gloves on. Uh, that's for sure. But nonetheless, uh, I'm good. My, my morale's high so far. Um, I am uh, very, very, very far uh, from any type of building, uh, structure. Um, I don't have any means to contact anybody. Um, and so uh, I don't know how this how this is gonna go. Um, if I had a car, I would probably I'd probably be uh, on the road safe. Uh, but I, 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 I <clears throat> sorry, uh, this my nerves are are kind of getting up there. Um, but I don't I, I, I don't and um, I am on my own and I'm. Uh, uh, I'm a little bit scared. I, I, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's no, no doubt um, that I'm up against uh, some odds here. And, uh, God, I, I, if I don't make it, get back to any way, any type of uh, help. Um, people know where I'm at. They're gonna, they're gonna come and find me. They're gonna come and find me. Uh, they're gonna get me out of here. I, I just know it. I just know it. I, I, I like I say, my morale's high. I'm confident. Uh, I'll get out of here somehow. All right. Wish me luck. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Dave, and I'm from Mr. Dave's Outdoor Adventures. And it is a nice December day, and we are over at Whitewater Preserve getting ready to do the Canyon Trail and the Canyon Loop Trail. And it's a little bit on the cold side. And, um, but nonetheless, this is going to be a great day for an adventure. We're outside. It's quiet. Um, I don't think you can ask <laughs> for a better time. All right. Good morning once again. Uh, this is Mr. Dave from Mr. Dave's Outdoor Adventures. And you can see I have my trekking poles here. And um, I did some research. And apparently when you put it in your strap, you're supposed to go from the not from the top down like that uh, but you're supposed to go from the bottom up and the reason being is if you fall your thumbs not caught and you can go down but see if you go down and grip it and you fall and you release your hands kind of stuck uh, within the strap so you got to be really careful of that so cat and then you're good so figure this out here all right I am ready I'm ready for my adventure we're going to be doing um, the uh, Whitewater Preserve uh, Park we're doing the Canyon View Loop um, it, it junctions with the Pacific Crest Trail uh, in about a mile and a half um, we're going to gain not too much elevation it's like 675 feet but it's like in a mile uh, I just saw some older ladies go up the hill and um yeah again these videos are designed uh for beginners uh, i obviously am uh, a beginner um and but i just want to show that if i can get out there and do it anybody can get out here and do it and uh and enjoy uh the goal is to get outside get in nature uh do something adventurous uh that's the goal so uh we're going to start 
uh, the trail is here off to my left and uh, it's going to go uh, up into the hills um, and loop around uh, down to Whitewater River. Uh, I'll make the decision at that junction if I'm going to uh, go on to the PCT uh, a ways and get to a place called Red Dome. Uh, we're just going to see how fast we can go. <laughs> how fast we can go because I can always try to run, but then that would just be a mistake. Uh, well, we're going to see what kind of time we make and if the time is good um, and how I'm feeling. Uh, then we might go to Red Dome. If not, we're just going to continue on the loop trail and then we're going to come down um, uh, to my right, um, down back down the road. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I hope uh, you enjoy. I want to thank you for coming along with me. And uh, let's go adventuring. The trail is really well marked so far. I mean, just getting into it. Hopefully I've uh, dawdled enough to give the other hikers ahead of me a, you know, good, a good lead. Uh, you know, we're supposed to you know, like maintain distance anyway, but you know, sometimes you're just like being like by yourself. You have somebody else bearing down on you. Uh, I always like to run past. That's a good time for a break for me, at least. Whew. Yeah, this elevation gain, it's like right away. I mean, it's not the steepest I've been on, but it's not a, it's not a stroll in a park either. You can hear breathing. Whew. Heavy. Err. Okay. I don't know where it came from. So, but the elevation gain, you're going to get it in the first mile or so. And after that, uh, you should just go downhill. All right. Looks like evidence of horses have been up here at some point. And that must be pretty fun. I don't do horses. I can barely walk them out on two feet. 
now also in this area mountain goats oh wouldn't that be a sight to see they could be up there right now all right so here we go this is one of the reasons I want to bring the poles not that I can't scramble out to help that but uh, anything added for stability um, is better again I haven't used the check and poles uh, till today and uh, it's interesting uh, you get it's something to get used to uh, not a bad thing I don't have an opinion on them yet uh, it's just something that I have not done before I'm not used to it well, we're gonna see how it goes but man man it's, it's beautiful up here I'm hearing some wildlife some bird up there somewhere I think oh boy you know it's funny because there are mountain lions in this area I'm just thinking right here boy what a perfect perfect ambush spot uh, through the uh, through the uh, thickets um, and could be anywhere looking down on me right now just waiting they know the path they know the trails they know this whole area and they could be anywhere and it's quiet it's cold um, very surreal concept again we I am in their territory I'm visiting Let's see how hospitable they are. All right, we made it. Well, again, our journey still continues. I don't think we've quite made it out of our elevation gain yet. I'm sure the camera here is going to be going up that way. Uh, but what I want to stop here and show you, this is Whitewater Preserve. Now normally we'd be coming in off that road over there, driving up and parking over there, and maybe starting the trail, the loop trail that way. But because of the certain 2020 conditions, uh, it's closed uh, trails are still open which is a great thing because people need to get outside but the all the facilities the uh, visitor center supposedly the restrooms we'll see uh, are closed down um, so uh, we're gonna see how that goes and um, but there's the I'm sure the camera goes, you guys can see there's the river right here I'm assuming in the spring after the winter runoff that this uh, river kind of gets a little bit bigger um, I believe it does but this is the Whitewater River uh, as you recall uh, my previous video we're at uh, the Mission Creek Preserve okay that is located on the other side of those hills um, and it eventually links up over there in that area but the last time we did we didn't come down through that way because of this whole area was closed because of the fires which you can see evidence of the fires right over there where they burned all the way down through the canyon here uh, and I think they're doing some repairs over there uh, that's one of the reasons that's also closed down too because uh, they are doing some uh, refurbishing and renovating and rebuilding uh, of sorts uh, so uh, again thankful that the trail is still open um, and we're gonna press on and we're gonna see what's out there all right stay tuned okay so just a quick entry I just uh, went through my bag realized the water that I put in there last night must have fallen out. Uh, it's probably in the car. However, uh, I have my life straw bottle. So I just have to press down. Uh, and my water source is the river down below. Uh, 
I mean, if you guys recall it, the Mission Creek Preserve hike, that's where I used the Life Straw Bottle for the first time. And yes, I'm a believer. And yes, it's good to be a believer. And yes, it's good to have it in these situations. Man, not good, not good. Uh, always, always have water on hand. And I don't, but it's nearby and I can get it and I know it. All right. Oh, see how it goes. All right, so pretty sure I made it to the top of the elevation gain. Uh, could be wrong, but I don't think I have to go up that other hill uh, behind me there. Right there. Don't think I have to go up that. It's been going somewhere uh, down here. Anyway, you know, it's funny that, uh, you know, I told you earlier that I left the water in the car and it's weird how much you fixate on something knowing that you're deprived of it and that you're going to need it sooner rather than later. What I'm afraid of is by the time I get down to the creek I'll already be dehydrated. That could play a big factor is if I'm pressing on the red dome or not. Uh, because if I am dehydrated uh, you know it's already too late. Um, so far, I'm okay, but that's all I'm thinking about right now, and so I gotta get my mind off of that. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna see what this, uh, uh, what lies ahead, and just really try to focus on the beauty of this place, because it is beautiful. Uh, I get a totally different feel uh, from the uh, Mission Creek Preserve, which is, uh, you know, again, over that way, uh, behind me, you know, over those hills there in the back, which is more flat terrain uh, that hugs the creek. Uh, this gets in the hills and it's away from the river. I know I'm going to be circling back down to it, but it's just a completely different feel, completely different vibe. And I'm going to uh, turn the camera around and show you some of these beautiful, beautiful hills. You can see in the back where the mountains start. Again, we're in the area called, uh, I guess it's the San Quentin Monument. And um, we may be on it already. Uh, I think when we crossed, when we passed this sign here, it doesn't say anything on here, it just says trail. But I think going over here now, we're uh, sharing the PCT. I think. Could be wrong. Again, I'm going to fact check myself on that one. Anyway, let's see what's on up ahead. Turn the camera around here and uh, let's see what we see. And I think another cool thing is that um, I know I'm not by myself here, which is a pretty good feeling, even though I don't see anybody else around, but I know, I know where there are people. So if anything should happen, um, seriously, uh, I'll be okay. love to catch a glimpse of mountain goats or something. Oh, they're up there. Perfect territory for them too. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear it from up here. I can hear the Whitewater River going.
All right, so remember, always back at the hill, I said I'm at the top of the hill. I don't think I have to go up any more hills. Well, false. That is wrong. Uh -huh. I had to come up that hill I was pointing at. I made it to the top, which is nice, but man, I'm so thirsty. I should have, uh, as soon as I discovered that I didn't have my water bottle, I should have turned around, went back to the car, got the water bottle and started all over again. Could have done that. Now it's way too late. Um, past the point of no return, it's gonna be shorter. If I continue on down to the river, get my water there and then head on out. What I will be doing, um, uh, once I get down to the bottom, I'm gonna make the decision to press on uh, to Red Dome or not. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll, I'll be okay um, and I'm still enjoying myself uh, a lot. However, uh, it would have been nice to with the, be a little bit more hydrated. Anyway, um, my knee's feeling okay. I'm gonna see on the on the descent. That's where it usually gets me on the descent. But again, I have the trekking poles, and I do have that uh, cold wrap uh, that I can put around my knee to brace it, uh, just in case. Uh, we're we're gonna we'll probably try that product out, and uh, and see. I'll, I'll let you know on the descent how I feel there. Anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera around, get some shots of this beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. Um, stand by. All right. So there is Whitewater River. There's the preserve right there. That's the visitor center area. That's what's closed off. Um, but man, you could you could still see you know some of the effects of the fire uh, whoa, over there. Uh, Ironically enough, there's a water tank. Uh, there's the road. We'll be walking once. Once we go down, we're going to be walking across the creek, and then down that way, uh, and then we're going to follow the road right here across. And the car is over in this area behind that that hill. That's the hill right there that I wasn't supposed to climb up, or I didn't know I had to climb up. But I did it. I did it. Um, so we're going to take a little break here. And um, one of the things, it's not so bad in December. But uh, again, uh, that's why we're doing these hikes in the, in the winter time, in the fall winter. Uh, there's, no, there's no shade. So can you imagine being out here in July or August again? Uh, it's brutal. Uh, think if I didn't have water then. Um, no, no, it's not happening. But another cool thing that with these poles, um, that, you know, there are snakes in the area. It's probably too cool for them to be out. But one of the cool things is like, as soon as I set my pack down this rock, you have your pole so you can kind of feel like before you sit down, you know, you can do that. That is going to, um, alert any snake and it's going to keep them, you know, at a good distance you know, so you don't, so you don't have to worry. So you could sit down and, and take a, a, take a rest, which is another good thing for these poles. I am slowly getting used to these poles and, um, I can see the benefit. I will let you know for sure how my knee feels, uh, after the descent. Let me see, just kind of continue to flex it. Um, but look at that. Would you look at that? All the way around. It is so beautiful. All right, so eventually we're going to be coming down into this canyon here, walking out way off in the distance. You can see there is a trail sign. I think that. If you go to the right, that is going to continue the loop. And if you go to the left, that's the straight PCT up that way. Uh, maybe Red Dome off in the distance. I don't know. It is. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Where is it? Appearances can be deceiving, as we all know.
again, a little bit closer to my water source because I'm going to hit that. So I'm going to go to the right and get some water, take a break, eat, and um, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what we do next. All right, so we are definitely on our descent. Um, we have come from that area right there, and we are headed that way, ultimately down there to the creek, the river. Uh, again, this has been uh, an incredible journey. Uh, it's so quiet. The uh, the two ladies that were hiking in front of me, um, uh, I know I took a, a few breaks here and there, but they are nowhere to be seen. I couldn't even see them from up top looking down below. So, coming down to the tail end, I opted not to go for Red Dome, at least not yet. Until I've had a break, I think. Uh, I do want to walk down to the creek, take a break, and uh, get some water, uh, get a snack, and then make my decision as to which way to go. Uh, I'm reading some signs. I'm told not to stop at the preserve unless it's an emergency. I don't know, but we're going to find out because we're going to walk right past it eventually. Man, you start hearing the water, it's getting louder and louder as I, as I get closer. Well, that's a nice little scramble. That's where I got to go. I'm going to put this away and... Scramble it on down. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, man. We are down by the creek now. I just want to grab this one. I'm walking through. This is just beautiful stuff. I mean, to think we're uh, we're in the desert, and uh, it doesn't look to anywhere near to be. In a desert environment. We got run water. We got it's like sand. I'm walking on sand. It's like uh, I'm at the beach. Oh, I'm not at the beach. I turn this camera on. You just guys don't look at me. You guys go see this.
right, I finally got my water. Uh, I had a snack and I'm feeling a bit more hydrated. Uh, however, uh, I think I'm going to pass on Red Dome for the day and head on out. I'm going to follow the creek along, or the river, I guess, uh, past the preserve and out back towards the road. Uh, only because I am having camera issues and I don't think that it's going to make it much longer. Uh, so, um, I got to do something about that. So I'm going to I'm gonna sort that out anyway uh, man you got to come out here if you're in Southern California or if you're making a trip out here you gotta you know you're heading out towards Palm Springs or whatever you gotta stop by Whitewater Preserve and do this hike it's a beautiful hike it's got a little bit of everything I mean the hills the creek the river um, you know the plant life uh, didn't see much wildlife uh, but that's probably because of the time of year but you got to get out here you got to do it and um, you know if you're in shape it's gonna be no problem if you're not in shape you know somebody like me who's really trying to get in shape you could still do it without water <laughs> I don't recommend that though bring water um, uh, the minute I had that water it was so much better um, but yeah get out here get outdoors do something adventurous uh, from here uh, Really, the, the journey continues. All right, so we are down at the visitor center. It's closed, there's no facilities, but man, this is a pretty neat place to hang out. Um, highly recommended. We're at the end of our hike. Uh, it's been a fantastic hike. You can't see we were back, way back uh, that way, uh, up in the hills. And now, if you look here, there are another hills. And supposedly, there are mountain goats up there. Didn't see any, uh, but man, I would imagine it would uh, be very difficult to see. Uh, they blend in really well. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, you know, give me the thumbs up. If you want to uh, subscribe, I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, like I say, the adventure is only beginning. Uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to do a lot of good things. And um, I can't wait. So uh, I'm Mr. Dave. This is uh, Mr. Dave's Outdoor Adventures, and uh, get outside and do something adventurous.